Howdy y'all, welcome to part 16 in FTB Lite 2 with uh, some added mods. Uh, back down in our uh, advanced genetics room that we were in last time. Uh, found out some things that I wanted to share, of course, uh, if y'all have not messed with this mod. It's pretty cool. Uh, first thing is, uh, last time we got Climb. Uh, pretty cool ability. Uh, the one thing that uh, I found out that I do not like about it is... Uh, on one block openings uh, you have a tendency especially in space it's very annoying uh, my airlocks are all one uh, I, I have a tendency to get stuck on the walls uh, so I gotta get rid of that um, now right now I do have it uh, I, I did take it out once but I, uh, I still had a syringe in my blood so I wanted to uh, show you how to get rid of it now the first thing you have to do is breed up a gene that you want to get rid of so you have to go through the process of getting the gene that you want and, uh, you know, you breed it up in the breeder until it says completed. Now, once you have that and you want to get rid of it, we go over to this uh, DNA transmutator and uh, we put it in the, uh, this is the difference, by the way, in the, uh, the red and the blue genes that uh, I didn't know what they were last time. Uh, yeah. So these are uh, anti-genes, and what that means is uh, that's what we get rid of it. Now, it says 33 organic drops. Uh, if you remember, as we were doing this, we get all these uh, organic drops coming from a few of these machines. Uh, yeah, so we got uh, plenty of these things. We got a lot of them. Uh, I've been really playing around with this mod quite a bit. So uh, when you want to make an anti-gene, you come in here and uh, just throw it in. Of course, we will need a vial of our blood again, so we'll take some of that real quick. Oh, ouch. Hate shots. So uh, now we have our anti gene. So we got to do the similar thing. We got to centrifuge our blood first. I'm going to throw that in there. And uh, then we're going to go into a uh, DNA remover. I'm going to throw that in. And then our, our syringe. So now it's filled and we got to centrifuge it again. So now uh, what we have is the anti-gene. So like right now you see we can climb up the walls. Pretty cool. Can be annoying. It's the only reason I'm getting rid of it is uh, it's uh, more annoying to me right now than it is helpful. So I'm going to throw that in there. Get the whole... I just go, oh, 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 okay, now we're better. All right, so now you see uh, it's gone, so that's no longer in there. Um, you always want to make a backup of your blood just in case uh, you die, because if you do die, of course, you lose all your uh, genetics, so that right there is the backup of our blood. Now, one cool thing that I found is, uh, let's see this little green one right here. This is for animals. Um you can buff up your uh, your pets or your horse, uh, wolf. Uh, I used my slimeling right here. Um, it doesn't show it, unfortunately, once he... Uh, quit turning away from me. It doesn't show it once uh, he is put back into the, uh, to the golden lasso, but he actually has extra hearts. Um, I've also... Uh, uh, put resistance which is the one you get from the zombie on there um, uh, you can you can heal these up also by the way with a, uh, a veterinary syringe uh, which is just an apple and a, a syringe from mine factory reloaded and uh, you can heal these guys up so you might want to carry a few around with them they uh, you can't armor these guys which would be really cool if uh, Galactic Craft would come out with some sort of like maybe a dash armor suit. I know you can put a backpack on them, uh, but uh, they'd be kind of a cool uh, combat pet. But uh, what he has on him is resistance, speed, extra hearts, uh, wither effect, and uh, woolly, just because I wanted to test it out. That uh, is kind of funny. We'll... I also have a pig that uh, has it on there. We'll take a look at that. But um, So what you would do is just inject him with the green one, uh, and that will give them the abilities. Uh, 
and I also figured out how to use the uh, the microscope here. What this does is this. Um, I thought last time that these were like just like little bubbles in the blood that were uh, you know just like a fancy graphic or something. So I really didn't know what these were for. I I was expecting it to like give me a printout, but these are actually the genes that are in the blood. Uh, so. You know, I was looking on the wiki and it said, click on the genes. And I was like, what What are they talking about? Click on the genes. And uh, so I figured out that's what these little bubbles are. And uh, as it analyzes, the brighter it gets, uh, it's, it's, this one's probably finished. Yeah, this one says, so it says more hearts. Uh, when they're dark like this, they're either being analyzed or they're still unknown. So the more you have in your, uh, blood sample that you're looking underneath here the longer it'll take but if you have like a multiple different blood samples I haven't tried to like name the syringes yet I, I doubt it would actually work but uh, you know just just in case you forget what's in one um, this will kind of tell you so you know you see resistance it's got more hearts uh, it also has wither the wither effect I, I went and killed a wither and got a bunch of uh, uh, wither skin cells that was fun uh then you uh did i use it already i thought i had another one hmm. i didn't use it on myself i don't think i want to wither anything but oh yeah and if you quit it uh if you get away from it it stops the analysis so uh just don't forget to walk or you know not to walk away until it's done uh i have an ocelot in here now you can see the pig has the same buffs on him as the the uh, uh, slimeling there, so you can see how much health he's got. Normally he should have ten like this ocelot, uh, who is unmodified, but the pig is modified with the same stuff. This pig thankfully doesn't hit back, but uh, he would uh, wither you if he did. Now the funny thing is with these animals, and I and I am. It's probably a good thing that I'm not on a server because uh, I could see some evil, evil things to do with this, uh, which you could do with this mod. But uh, right now, okay, you can see I have no wool in, in my uh, inventory. And uh, just walk up here and uh, click our pig a couple times and uh, pick up a few. So we just real, real fast got uh, 34 off of him. So... That's the woolly ability. Uh, you can put that on yourself, but you would have to have somebody else click you, or you could just, you know, put it on anything. Uh, I can actually uh, do old Yeller there too. The only downside is he's got a little UI that pops up. So I thought that was really neat. Um, what I what I could definitely see <laughs> that would be bad is what you can do is you can actually clone animals and that's what this is right here uh this is a cloner what you do is you get uh whatever you that one in there right now is a slimeling uh they unfortunately do not come out tameable because the way slimelings work uh you have to uh break the the egg to get them to be tame and this hatches a uh a new slimeling you know this guy's all the biggest he can get he's he's 100 percent the only thing i can do now with him is breed him um but these guys will pop out little and as far as i can tell there's no way to tame them but what would be evil is to uh you know put something like this in somebody's base and uh take like a uh zombie pig man and uh <laughs> This is really, really bad. Take like a zombie pig man and uh, give him wither, resistance, more hearts. Uh, I don't know if the fireball abilities are all that work. Give him speed. Uh, you know, put all that into a blood syringe. Because what will happen is, let's say I take this syringe right here. And uh, in this cloner, I put that syringe in, right above the helix. Uh, once you put an, a... Uh, an insulated cell in here it will spawn so what we would do is uh, let me find just a junkie okay zombie one so what you would do is just take a skin cell slap it in there and you get the cell and then what you would do is come over to the insulator 
So you'd probably want to, these do stack, the insulated ones stack. Uh, normal, normal cells don't, the uh, insulated ones do. Uh, you can see how slow this thing is, and this is with 16 overclockers in it. So it's really, really slow without them. Um, so once you take this skin cell and put it in here, it will spawn. There he is. It'll spawn a little uh, um, slime wing. And of course, you know, he's not. And he just fell to his death. What a dumbass. Really, did he just do that? Yeah, he did. See how fast that slimeling is? He's got speed too. No! <laughs> I haven't tried him uh, fighting with the speed yet. Uh, one of the problems that I was having with him is, is I was trying to get away from mobs. He uh, couldn't keep up with them. You know, they, they would run away from him and I couldn't get a really hit on him. So I gave him speed too. Or speed also. Speed too also. And uh, I want to see now how quick he is. But if you can imagine now, if uh, if I had put a uh, like a zombie pigman in here, and I gave him speed, wither, resistance, more hearts, um, you know, just jack that guy up, and then put this in somebody's base with a like a player detector and some of these other mods, uh, or uh, you know, just put a tripwire at the door or something that would uh, activate this. Um, manually that could be bad i mean they would be spawning uber mobs into their uh to their base <laughs> they'd have to fight them off it could be it could be really evil uh i haven't seen anybody do that yet in fact i didn't even know you could do animals i hadn't seen anybody do animals yet so it's uh it's it's <laughs> i can just i can just see that being really really evil really truly uh a bad I mean, if you put, I mean, it, because those things will stack, I think, up to 16, the skin cells, maybe more. Um, so, I mean, if you think about it, I mean, how many uh, could you uh, spawn into a person's base? <laughs> you know, you could even use their power to do it. So, uh, I'm not giving anybody any suggestions or anything, but I think that would be uh, pretty darn funny. So, okay, let's get him out here. Let's see what kind of damage he's doing now. Uh, let's do follow. And this guy's going to hit me. Look at him. All over him. Can you take him, though? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was great. That's funny. That is too funny. Get him, buddy. The only downside is, is like I said, there's no armor on these guys, and they do uh, take quite a bit of uh, damage, you know. That's the only downside. Come on, get him. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. We'll have to go heal you up. So that's why I'm saying you kind of want to keep uh, some healing syringes on him. Uh, you can give him food, but I'm not going to sit here and feed this guy emeralds. Uh, kind of need to figure out a way to um, mass produce healing syringes, maybe. I don't know. Um, I suppose there's a couple ways I could do it. Have to look at that. Maybe uh, do like a uh, inner chest return system. Let me just pick up the head. <laughs> it's so funny. He is so fast now. He is just on them. Get him. Come on. We're losing. Get him. There you go. Uh, I have uh, potion effects turned off just because I don't want to see him all the time. Uh, so that's why. Uh, you don't see the wither effect, but it is there. If you turn them on, there there is a wither effect on these guys. Get him. Get him, Yeller. That is so funny. <laughs> ah, I love it. Okay, let's pick him back up. I think that was a good enough test. So, you know, that's just a slime link. Just imagine how bad... Uh, like a, a tough mob would be like if you were to spawn enderman with uh extra hearts and the wither effect uh how absolutely lethal that would be to uh, as a prank i'm i'm i don't even know if people would uh, consider you a friend after that <laughs> they would be so pissed off uh if, if that were to happen because i mean you could really make a nasty 
nasty mob. You could just do it with zombies or skeletons. I mean, it would be uh, any mob you can you can do that with. As long as you have a skin cell, you can clone them. Um, now these guys, you know, I'm in, I'm injecting them directly, uh, so. You know, I'm not cloning them. Uh, initially, I thought I had to clone them uh, because I tried to inject them with, like, my blood, and it didn't uh, doesn't work. But you can do that in a cloner. You can take a copy of your blood and put it in there, and it'll spawn uh, the uh, clones with it. But to do, an, uh, like, a pet or something like this, you do need to uh, draw their blood uh, and do it that way. And then just to heal them up, you can just real simply make a... Uh, Healing syringe doesn't do very much, but uh, like I said, it's better than than wasting an emerald. I got a lot more apples than I do emeralds, though I don't use emeralds for very much. So it's very easy to. Uh... Damn dog! All kinds of noise over there. Um, so real easy to heal him right back up. Of course he actually has more hearts than that um, but it won't uh, won't heal it up more than that which is weird now I did put in a um, file cabinet here my hope was that it would uh, stack all like the creepers and the sheep and all together so I wouldn't have to scroll through it as much but uh, yeah it doesn't even though it'll put them all in here it doesn't uh, stack them which is like uh, I thought it would do like the um, the enchanted books but it doesn't so that's kind of a bummer put him back away so that is kind of the advanced genetics uh part i i uh i'll probably i'll probably I, i've tried to find a wolf uh i'd like to try to get a wolf too uh because i know they go after skeletons and uh you know give him avoid creepers also or maybe not. I, I wanted to go after creepers. Um, I don't know. There's just you could really make a nasty, nasty mob with this. So this is a this is a pretty fun mob mod mob. It's a pretty fun mob now. Um, I did go to the deep dark for a little bit. Uh, we got our portal. I put it right over here. Um, mobs there are tough. They uh, they hit a little bit harder. Uh, there's more of them. Um, I haven't really done any, uh, I've just done some exploratory mining. Um, it's kind of weird. I, I guess we can pop over there real fast. Uh, I'll just click on this. I don't know how some computers will handle it. Um, it doesn't seem to give me any hassle. Now I use the, uh, destruction catalyst up here and, uh, that's that uh, little thing we were talking about that uses gunpowder, uses like three gunpowder. And it does a, uh, a three by three by three block uh, when you when you blow stuff out, and it does not touch um, ores. It doesn't touch. Uh, I think here also there's limestone and marble. It doesn't seem to touch that either. But you can see it uh, leaves all the ores intact. So I did kind of a exploratory thing here, and then down below. Um, did another kind of exploratory. Uh, the ores down below seem to be better the deeper you go. Uh, right now we're at uh, 82. So I guess just like the overworld, the deeper you go, the better ores you get. Um, but I just did some, some blasting out with the, uh, the destruction catalyst and, and kind of looked around down below and a little deeper. Um, the one thing you want to make sure... Uh, that's some weird temple thing. I was really disappointed in the loot. Uh, there are a bunch of spawners in there. And what pisses me off is they put them right on top of the chest. Uh, the spawners are directly on top of every chest in there. So, um, loot wasn't that great. I got it like a, the best thing I got was like a name tag. And uh, I was really hoping for one of those internet radio crystals, which I didn't find. So, we'll talk about that next time. Damn dog. Okay, sorry about that interruption during dogs. Um, one thing I want to mention real quick uh, between the last episode and, or not last episode, this uh, last part and this one, there has been actual an update to the uh, light pack. Um, 
I forgot I, I had left here and uh, gone up to just give me just a second. Oh, geez. It's, it just never fails. <laughs> um, in between uh, the first part and this part, there was an FTB light two pack update. Uh, I forgot to re enable the deep dark. So my portal was gone in the overworld. Um, just make sure to remember to, uh, you know, re-enable that uh, on that update. So uh, we were talking about I did a little exploratory mining. So I just blew out a big chunk of stuff just used. This is a limestone. Um, the um, what you call it? The uh, the 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 gosh darn it that thing the uh, destruction catalyst does not destroy that or marble uh, what, what's this little lag coming from so uh, I kind of went down here and did a little uh, exploratory destruction with the um... mobs seem to spawn here even in light see how much tougher they are you know it takes a little bit more to kill them I love how these guys don't uh, want to get anywhere near me. I think that's funny. But you can see the ores are a little bit better. Uh, we're not very deep yet. We're only down at uh, 48, so we're not even close to diamond uh, area if, uh, if it goes with the same thing that uh, the overworld does. Um, not really worried about mining too much right now. We've got uh, plenty of ores. Boy, I'm just hurt. Hurricane and jerking all over the place. So this area would be pretty cool, I think. Um, eventually. Uh, to... Get away from me. Punk. So this is, uh, just like I said, an exploratory mine. Um, if and when I need to, I will uh, just set up an end of quarry out here. I may explore and see if I can try to find another one of these. Um... The, the real benefit, I guess, on this is if, uh, if I wish I would have enabled this earlier, um, when I, when I like really needed the ores, it's just not right now, not something that I, I need a lot of. I'm actually, uh, have turned off the laser drill. What was that? I don't know what that was. Did you see that one we kind of zoned in there? It was like, it looked like mobs or something down there. I don't know. I'm going to look real quick, see why I am herking and jerking all over the place. Huh, don't see anything in the console, so not sure what's up. Could be the update. I uh, don't know. Uh, don't think I have anything else on. Uh, there are some new um, open blocks updated, of course. Or was it open blocks or extra utilities? I think they both did, but uh, open blocks, yeah, open blocks. If we go down here and look, the uh, the book is updated. They added um, some stuff. They've changed the internet radio. Uh, I'm gonna have to look into that. Uh, it does have a watch a video, so I may go do that in a bit. And then, um, uh, oh, uh, the fans now. Uh, are controlled by uh, redstone it doesn't say that here but it is in the uh, update notes I think the stronger redstone signal or something that it uh, will blow harder I don't know um, see if they added anything else new oh they added um, sky blocks bring the outside inside with the new sky block I don't know what that does uh, that might just be a bouncy thing I don't know well uh, we'll check that out and it uses in stone glass uh, got plenty of that, but they've also added, um, might be way back in the, enabling the Wii Fire series, people config option, and then and Tom Fuller, both the client and server config, well, I'll give you your own digestive system, tasty clay and press B to digest, huh, Tom Fuller, all right, uh, there's some enchantments, which I, I don't know how to get these. I uh, haven't seen them pop up under uh, 
any of the books that I've done. So, and then the the two new ones are Last Stand and Chapman, which apparently, uh, if you're taking, if you're below half a heart, you start it starts sucking your uh, your experience. And then there's the Flim Flam, but it says uh, they don't know what it is, so it's not telling you anything. So I don't know uh, what any of those do just yet, um, or even how to get them, because uh, I have not uh, seen them show up on any of the uh, the enchanting that I've done. So I don't have a book in there right now. Throw one in there, see if I can get lucky enough to get one. Oop, nope, that's concrete. Okay, so that's uh, that's some of the mods that uh, we added. Uh, of course, I also added in Reliquary, and uh, that gives you the Coin of Fortune, or as it's been so commonly uh, named on uh, YouTube videos, is the Coin of Suck. Um, here's it shows. This was added in when the uh, when I updated. New Skyblock, Flim Flam Enchantment, Last Stand Enchantment, uh, Contiguous Run Strike. Now I'm going to try the Cartographer again. I tried it before and it didn't, uh, never showed anything. So I just, uh, I don't think I ever put it on video. So I actually deleted the whole thing. They're not very expensive, so I may make another one. I think I still have the maps. Uh, I don't know. And Radio Volume can now be controlled via Redstone. Fan Strength can now be controlled via Redstone. So, actually... While we're here, before we end this one, why don't we fly up? Because my bottom layer um, on my mob spawner up here should have just—I don't know why I'm flying up here. <laughs> That's what I made the elevator for, because it's quicker. Um, I don't know. I just kind of like looking at it, though. Uh, the bottom layer here, I had put fans out just to uh, to try it out. Let's see, uh, it's actually too far. It's too big. You kind of see how they. Uh, don't get blown. Are they even on now? Oh, you little son of a... What a right. Get out of my way. I want that skeleton. Okay, well, let's, uh... Oh, no! I forgot to add back in morph. Wow. So I don't even know if these things are working. Shoot. Let me break this real quick. Or let me get in here. They're not. They're not working. Uh, wow. Okay. Hmm. That is going to screw up our ender spawner too. Uh, do I have to apply redstone to these now? Well, I guess we will figure that out in the... Uh, Next episode, uh, I'll go do some playing around with these, and hopefully I'll have that figured out by the time uh, I get to uh, shoot another one. So, guys, I appreciate you coming by. Sorry this one is so short. Uh, looks like I've got some uh, some testing to do on the new stuff. I'm not sure I like that. I just kind of like the fans the way they were. So now I've got to add a whole bunch of redstone to this crap. That sucks. Appreciate you coming by. Uh, hope you liked the episode. Uh, until next time, I will uh, see y'all later. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, because that is the best way to find out if I uh, have a video out. Y'all take it easy.